Hey guys, so today I want to share with you uh, a color picker that I developed using uh, Unity Canvas. And it's just a standard color picker control, like almost the one that we have inside Unity. But this one you can use at runtime to allow users to edit and select colors of meshes, other UI controls, whatever you need, basically. So let me show you the project. Like all the other ones, I developed a simple demo project. And the idea here is that we have this sphere here. And when we click the sphere, it will open the color picker. So when I click the sphere, it opens the color picker. Oh, maybe wait. I'm just going to move the color picker a little bit to the side. And now it works as a standard color picker. So the design is not very good. So it all looks like one of the old <laughs> uh, UI interfaces from Windows or something like that. But you can always change it, you know, and make it uh, just a little bit better uh, in terms of uh, looks. But here you can see that you can select uh, the color. You can also have this one to select the color. Here the intensity of the color or the other properties. You have the RGB uh, code here, so you can also change the, the values directly here. And it will update the color. You also have the X code, so I can input the X code here and it will update as well. And I also added a picker. So this is the picker which will uh, get the color from the, the actual screen. So you can see like, for example, if I come here, it will get the color from the, the background. If I do like this, it will just select this color. And so this is basically it. I mean, this is a really simple control uh, color picker. And you also have these two options. So if you cancel, Basically, the mesh will, won't get the color that you just selected. And if you change the color to something else and apply, the mesh will retain the color. And this, this code is all already on the, on the demo script. Not, it's not part of the color picker. Basic, basically, the color picker, what it gives us is you have this main script. So you have a prefab on the color picker. Basically, what you need is to include this prefab inside a canvas object. So, and then you can configure the size of the color picker and the position and everything else. I mean, uh, it's not uh, adjusting in terms of layout. So if you try to increase the size of the color picker, it's not adjusting correctly, as you can see. So maybe this is something that I'll try to update in the future. And also the overall design. But like I was saying, so in the script of the color picker, what you have is you have three events that you can either uh, invoke from the, the Unity Inspector or register from the in, uh, from the code, which is what I'm doing. And basically these three events, so on, on change is called when you are just changing the color in the color picker, you know, like selecting different colors or the brightness, intensity and all that. So this event is constantly being called with uh, the updated color. And then you have two other events. On submit is when you press apply. So when you press apply, the on submit is called with the, the final color that is selected. And when you press on cancel, it just says, okay, so you cancel the operation. So it's a way that you can use to revert what you are doing. Because as you are seeing, um, if you are seeing in this case, if you are seeing the, the color changing at runtime, if the user cancel, then you need to go back to the original color because you don't want to apply the change that you was making. That's why I have this on cancel event as well. And then I also have this um, editor um, con um, controls. I usually tr try to, to do this in not all my scripts, but mostly tools or the main scripts that I need to in interact with. I try to always create like a, a custom interface with uh, access to the public method. So in a way I can just uh, try and uh, and test the script from the editor without having to connect with anything else. So for example, here I can open it, here I can open it with a color. So just to see, these are the two, the two public methods that we can use uh, to interact with the color uh, picker. So open with a color, you can see that, okay, it opens with green, so it's working. And since the, the sphere is already uh, registered to the, the events, that's why it's, um, also working and so basically this is it so uh, this is the color picker and now let me just show you the the color picker demo script just to show you how you can access and interact with the color picker from the another script so basically i have a reference to the color picker here and then i register to all the events 
since they are Unity events, I have to register like this. And basically what I'm doing, so here I'm just saving the original color of the mesh at the at start. Here I'm just detecting when the player presses the mouse button and sending a raycast to see if I am interacting with the sphere to open the color picker. And then you can see here that that's where I call color picker dot open, and I pass the the color of the mesh every time this uh, happens. And then on the events on the the message that I have where when I registered for the events, basically what I'm doing is when we are changing the color in the color picker, I'm updating the color of the mesh. When we submit, I just save the color uh, that the final color into the variable that I have here. So the next time I open the color picker, I'm using the color of the mesh. Uh, and when we cancel, I use the color that I saved here, that the original color that I saved, and apply it to the mesh. So basically what I'm doing is, uh, when I open the color picker, I save on the color. So the color, the, the variable color has the, the mesh color. When I open the color picker, and when I register on change, you see that I'm not changing the, the variable color. I only change it when the user actually applies the changes. So that's the, the way that I can, when the user cancels, that's the way that I can just go back to the original color before we open the open picker. Uh, sorry, we open the, the color picker. And and this is it. I mean, this is a really simple script on how to interact with the color picker, and there's not a lot more uh, about it. So you don't have a lot more controls uh, for the color picker. So let me just see. Yeah, I think this is everything. I think I'm missing here um, an alpha an alpha channel uh, slider, which I should probably add here as well. You know that you so that you can just control the alpha alpha channel of the color. Uh, that I'm missing, and also changing from RGB to the other uh, HSD and stuff like that. But this is a, a very basic one. I'm just saying this because if you come here to the, um, let me just see where is my sphere. Okay, if I come here to the sphere here in the color. Okay, so this is the the color picker of Unity. This is mine, and you can see. Okay, it has like this circular thing, but looks a little bit better and then you can also change uh, RGB, RGB, uh, HSV, that, that's the one that I wanted. HSV so it changes the, the sliders and I don't have like these options in my color picker. I also have the, the alpha channel which I'm missing and ideally we could still have like we could have also like colors you know like predefined colors that you could save and that would be like a really advanced color picker but at the time I didn't need it to implement all that but maybe in the future if I need I can just extend this one to implement all those advanced functionalities. And so this is it. So uh, like the other project that I've been uh, sharing with you guys, I created a, um, a GitHub uh, repository right, which you can access. You have a release here also that you can just download the, the Unity package where you can just import into your project and use the cover picker right away. And this is it. So if you want to collaborate on the project, that will be awesome. If you want to extend this, or if you are going to use this in your own projects and you're going to need to extend it, uh, if you want to collaborate on the original repo, that will be cool. And so this is it uh, for today. Uh, it's a really simple control, and I hope it might be useful for, for you guys. So yeah, see you on the next video. Thanks.